Hello friends, let's learn about perpendicular axis theorem and parallel axis theorem. After discussing these two theorems, we will take few examples to understand how to use these two theorems in the question. Okay, so in perpendicular axis theorem, there are three mutually perpendicular axes which are intersecting at one single point. At that single point may or may not pass through the center of mass. Remember this may or may not pass through the center of mass that intersecting point that can lie outside the object maybe okay the object must be flat in perpendicular axis theorem the object must be flat that it must be 2d like a plate paper square lamina or whatever okay two axis must lie in the plane of object that object is flat then it is obviously in a it will lie in some plane so we uh, so this example see here i have taken uh, x axis y axis and z axis and this is a suppose this is a plate i have taken arbitrary figure but uh, suppose this is a plate and its center mass is here and this is 2d object plate means 2d object and this uh, plate is lying in x y plane that is this condition is fulfilled two axis must lie in the plane of object this x axis and y axis lying in plane of this uh, plate and uh, we have to calculate moment of inertia about z axis that is this plane is perpendicular the uh, uh, axis uh, axis which are per, which is perpendicular to uh, x y plane and passing through these two axis okay so we have to calculate moment of inertia about z, z axis then how we will calculate we will first calculate moment of inertia about x axis and then y axis and then add them together to get moment of inertia about z, uh, z axis so uh, remember this one because it is necessary used in many questions so now next theorem parallel axis theorem and in this theorem only two axes and one axis must must pass through center of mass see must it must condition it will pass through center of mass and it is applicable to uh, every type of object that is 2d 3d whatever okay so uh, this is the result of parallax theorem so in parallel uh, so uh, let's how to remember this uh, how to understand this look it here if we look here then moment of inertia uh, about center of mass plus moment of inertia um, that means sometime mr square something like that moment of inertia is increasing means it is greater means it is providing more resistance feels like that means uh, what is uh, inertia we know that na normal inertia provides resistance to motion wants to uh, to be rest if it was in rest it was in uniform motion then it want to maintain its uniform motion so it is like that okay suppose this is a football i ask you i am asking you to rotate about this uh, uh, axis passing through its center of mass so if you are rotating about its center of mass this axis passing through the center of mass then you will feel easy easy to rotate okay you will uh, you will uh, easily rotate it if i ask you suppose this is uh, from uh, wire a small wire is passing passing through uh, center of mass and you are rotating i ask you to rotate some d distance away about some axis then you will feel some resistance to rotate it okay you are rotating like this it will rotate then you will feel some resistance will you yes you will feel some resistance that means its moment of inertia is increased if i ask you uh, uh, that this axis is moving this from here which uh, in the uh, first or second in which one you will feel easy to rotate this one you will feel easy to rotate and this is more difficult to rotate because moment of inertia will be more increased okay and as you are coming here towards the center of mass that means you are uh, uh, easiness increases that means it will be easy to rotate so remember this one also i explained you what is happening here so let's take a few examples let's take example of a ring okay uh, this is a ring 
I'm making a ring. And this is the center of mass. Okay, and this is radius r. Uh, if I uh, calculate this moment of inertia, then uh, what will uh, uh, moment of inertia about this center of mass will come? ICM will come here m r square because a small mass. If I add 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 small mass, it is like a ball. Small ball is um, many small balls are connected together. Okay, and rotating about and rotating. Then small 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 mass are uh, added together because r is same constant, so r will be there only. Okay. The moment moment of inertia about center of mass will uh, about this axis will be m r square. Then I have to calculate diamet diametrically. Okay. What is the moment of inertia about diametrically? Suppose this. If I have to rotate like this or like this. Then what is the moment of inertia about this? So I know if this is perpendicular like this. It is outside. I know M R square. Okay, it's M R square. So I have to calculate about this. And this is uh, uh, by symmetry. Here will be I suppose this is I X and this is I Y, and from this outside I Z. So from perpendicular axis theorem. Okay, the uh, suppose this is two D, and this uh, x lying in x y plane. This uh, uh, ring is, and outside z axis is coming outside. Okay, so I have to calculate. Then uh, I have to calculate i x and i y. So i i z equals to from perpendicular axis theorem i x plus i y from symmetry. We know from symmetry, uh, uh, it will a uh, moment of inertia will be same. So I can take it two times i x. Okay, i z we I know m r square, m r square. So here i x equals to m r square by two. Suppose, suppose I have to calculate what I have to calculate moment of inertia about some axis. Uh, suppose I have to calculate uh, this is new axis. I ha I have to rotate about this axis. Then how I'll calculate moment of inertia about this axis? Suppose this is I one. Let. So how will you calculate this? It, it will be calculated from parallel axis theorem. So uh, this you know you can see this axis I y and this I one. These are par uh, parallel to each other. Means in parallel axis theorem, two axes are required, and one axis must pass through center of mass. Uh, it can be I Y, I X, and I Z. These are passing through center of mass, but they are, both should be parallel to each other. So I Y is parallel to I one. So I have to take I Y and I one. Okay. So I know this. So if I go away from center of mass, then what happens? I have told you. Uh, if you into, uh, in, I have given you some in, intuition. So I am go going away from the center of mass. I will feel what difficulty to uh, difficulty to rotate means moment of inertia will increase. So I can write it write like this. I one equals moment of inertia uh, about I y. Okay, this is parallel to I one. That is why I am taking I y. I y plus m. This distance is r. Okay, m r square. I am adding because it will feel difficulty to rotate. So I one equals to I y. That is m r square by two plus m r square. That is two three m r square by two. Similarly, if I ask you to rotate about this axis, uh, this is coming out like uh, this is parallel to z-axis, and I can ask you anything means that I can uh, make many questions. So try to solve by your own.
similarly i can take anything i have taken here uh, uh, rings i can take plate uh, i can take uh, sphere or anything i can take we can rotate anything about any axis it depends on the question let's take one more example okay suppose this is a rod suppose this is a rod and we know that its moment of inertia if we are rotating about its one of the end and its mass m and its length is l then moment of inertia about this this axis is m l square by 3 and i have to calculate moment of inertia about its center of mass about this then uh, what will be the moment of inertia about its center of mass so i have told you uh, here so i have given some intuition so let's uh, use that intuition here so i have told you that moment of inertia about this axis is ml square by 3 so i am going towards the center of mass going towards the center of mass so what will happen it will be easy to rotate that means moment of inertia will decrease so what i will do uh, uh, about here that means uh, ml square by ml square by 3 minus m d square how much i have gone l by 2 okay i have gone l by 2 distance so l by 2 whole square equals to ml square by 12 okay that will be moment of inertia here will be ml square by 12 see easy there are nothing to do so solve some questions uh, uh, if you have some doubts please ask in the comment box